Hi, I'm Doug, and I want to encourage you in studying the biblical languages with some summer study tips. I'm here on the campus of Milligan University recording this live in June of 2024. And it's summertime, and it's a great time to start or to keep going in your study of the biblical languages. And I want to give you five tips today to do that. The first tip is that you need to get a head start for the fall semester. If you're starting into a biblical languages program, maybe you can go ahead and get the syllabus from the professor or ask the department or another student that you might know at the school and go ahead and see what you need to be working on. If you're brand new to one of the biblical languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek, go ahead and learn the alphabet. Go ahead and see what you can do to go ahead and get a leg up. You won't regret any time that you invest in doing that. And if you've already been in biblical language courses and you know what you're going into, uh, the readings, the um, the text, maybe the different elements of grammar, maybe that you're working with, go ahead and get a head start on that for the fall. Second tip is to review. If you've already been a biblical languages student, you already have some things under your belt and you need to make sure that you solidify that. You may need to make sure that that is part of uh, a continual practice for yourself and you can just keep reviewing the things that you have already learned. The third tip is that you can explore and go deeper, and it's a great opportunity to use that maybe in the context of teaching or preaching, in the context of digging into another topic that you want to learn more about, and you can just take advantage of the summer to be able to do that. Maybe use a technical commentary, check out series like uh, the exegetical the Guide to the Greek New Testament or the Baylor Handbook series, or maybe even take a class like the class Rob Plummer is offering on the book of Jude uh, later this summer. Third tip, find a buddy. Maybe this is somebody that you already know at a school program. Maybe it's somebody you could find online. There's a Facebook group called Nerdy Biblical Language Majors. Many times there are people that get together on there and we'll have some different study groups, meet on Zoom and uh, and work through different things with biblical languages, but find a buddy some way or other that can help hold you accountable and help encourage you in the study of the biblical languages. The fifth tip is to try something new. You can uh, try something that's maybe a little different from the learning strategies you've been used to so far. Maybe you've been in a grammar translation method approach and you want to try some communicative approaches. Check out Olive with Beth for Hebrew, Alpha with Angela for Greek. If you want some free options, if you want a paid option, the Biblical Language Center is a great resource. And there are some other things that you could check out there as well. If you're looking for some just walking through uh, of text a little more closely, maybe you didn't have something like that in a course, or maybe you're wanting to go through a grammar in more detail and that's new to you, check out Daily Dose of Hebrews website, Daily Dose of Aramaic, Daily Dose of Greek, a lot of great free resources from the folks there. But whatever you do, don't waste the summer if you're studying the biblical languages. You've got a golden opportunity. Make the most of it with these five tips. Get a head start, review, explore and go deeper, find a buddy, and try something new as you keep studying the biblical languages.